I'm Marcel Cajes. And I am Gina Tresha Guimari. How's it going? Today's a new day for another lesson and to learn new things. For today's discussion, we will be talking about designing the performance tasks. Let's start with the learning outcomes. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to first, learn the meaning and purpose of GRASP's model. Second, design and develop performance tasks using the goal, role, audience, situation, products, standards, or the GRASP's model. Now, let's find out what is GRASP's model. GRASP model is used as a tool to design and develop performance tasks that serves as a guide in the teaching learning process. Who advocated the GRASP model? The people behind the GRASP model are Jay McTay and Grant Widgens. Jay McTay is a veteran educator having served as a teacher, resource specialist, program coordinator, and director of a state program for gifted students. He is an accomplished author, having co-authored 17 books, including the award-winning and best-selling Understanding by Design series with Grant Regents. Grant Regents was the president of Authentic Education in Hopewell, New Jersey. He and his colleagues also organized conferences and workshops and developed print and web resources on key school reform issues. Grant is perhaps best known for being co-author with Jay McTai of Understanding by Design, the award-winning and highly successful program and set of materials on curriculum design used all over the world. Now, let's find out what GRASPS stands for. GRASPS is an acronym for G for Goal, R for Role, A for Audience, S for Situation, P for Product, Performance, and Purpose, S is for Standards and Criteria for Success. Goal. Goal states the problem or challenge to be resolved. As guidepost, it provides a statement of the task. Besides, it establishes the goal, problem, or the challenge. The goal provides the student with the outcome of the learning experience and the contextual purpose of the experience and product creation. Goal. Role explains who students are in the scenario and what they are being asked to do. As a guidepost, it defines the role of the students in the task. It also provides the students with the individual persona that they will become to accomplish the goal of the performance task. The majority of roles found within the task provide opportunities for students to complete real-world applications of effect. Students can be a teacher, farmer, policeman, journalist, or a doctor, and many more careers. Audience. Audience identifies whom the students are solving the problems for, whom they need to convince the validity and success of their solutions for the problem. As a guidepost, it identifies the target audience and the context of the scenario. The audience is the group who is interested in the products that have been created. These people will make a decision based upon the products and presentations created by the individuals assuming the role within the performance task. The target audience can be their classmates or schoolmates, their countrymen, or maybe the people around the globe. Situation Situation provides the context of the situation and any additional factors that could impede the resolution of the problem. As a guidepost, it sets the context of the scenario and explains the situation. The students will learn about the real-world application for the performance task, product, performance, and purpose. The three of these explains product or performance needs to be created and its more important purpose. As a guidepost, it clarifies what the students will need to create and why it needs to be created provides a clear picture of what success looks like and establishes rubric for product. This is designed using multiple intelligences. The products provide various opportunities for students to demonstrate understanding depending on their learning style and abilities, based on each learner and or individual class. The educator can make appropriate instructional decisions for product development. 
Visions and Magtai provided a list of possible products and performances. It must be noted that students' products and performances should be framed by an explicit purpose or goal and an identified audience. The possible products and performances were categorized by three classifications which are written, oral, and visual. The first one is written such as essay, research report, or magazine article. The next one is oral which can be a debate, an interview, or a speech. The third one is visual which can be a computer graphic, collage, or a scrapbook. Standards and Criteria for Success This dictates the standards that must be met and how the work will be judged by the assumed audience. As a guidepost, it adapts this project for individual students and ensures the support for learning needs. Here's the example of the GRASPS model. In this activity, students are tasked to think of concepts on how they would present the flyers, infographics, and posters to raise awareness for teenage pregnancy as well as on how they would get the attention of the audience. To complete this, they will be asked to be graphic artists and writers in order to come up with a product that is effective in informing the youth. In order to be effective, the product should meet the following standards such as the content itself, the accuracy of the information, creativity, and the use of grammar and punctuation. These criteria will be the basis of the students to produce a successful and effective product that will enlighten the audience. As a recap, here is the mind map that contains the summary of the lesson. The first one is G, that stands for goal, that provides the statement of the task. It contains the challenge or the problem. Your task is, is an example of idea starter to construct the statement. The next one is R, that stands for role. That states the role of the learners. So this is an indication of their responsibility on the task itself. You are a is an idea starter for this. The next one is A that stands for audience, which aims to identify the target audience within the context of the scenario. It can be noticed with the question, who are the recipients? And your audience is, is an idea starter. Then S, a situation that sets the context of the scenario. This aims to answer the question, what is the challenge? And noticed with an idea starter, the challenge involves dealing with. The fifth one is P as product, performance, and purpose of the task. This aims to clarify what and why the students create. And lastly, the S that stands for standards and criteria for success which provides students a clear picture of success. It aims to answer the question on what criteria for students will be judged. Always remember that to make it more effective, always include real-world problems to solve. So as your output, apply the GRASP model about the Philippine Independence Day. Use the template that have been shown in this lecture for you to be guided. Throughout the lesson, we have learned that the GRASPS model is indeed useful to systemize the performance tasks prepared for the learners. This is very helpful to teachers that are having difficulties in making such. Also, through this, the learners can easily organize their ideas and can follow well the instructions of the performance task. The Module 2.3, which is the designing of the performance task, help us to practice the integration of the GRASPS model to our possible lessons in the future. We found out that the creation of an activity that utilizes the GRASPS model was the most interesting part of this module because it practiced our capabilities in making such. Indeed, it was easy because of the templates and the idea starters that was imparted to us. This concludes our lesson for today. 
See you next lesson. I hope you've learned something. Thank you and mabuhay!